I think it's very challenging for young people to talk about mental health at the moment. I felt it in my last few years of school, like there was a real pressure on revising and re like studying and getting the grades. And I don't think there was enough focus on kind of a life for young people. It was all about exams, all about studying. Parents and families and schools and teachers don't do it on purpose, but there is a pressure to, to achieve your highest grades. There have been times I've felt kind of pressures at home um, to do with the well-being of other people in my family and kind of having to step up to the kind of role of kind of taking care of the house kind of thing. Um, that has definitely put pressures on me, but balancing that alongside my academics, because it came at a time where I was at a crucial stage in my academic life, that kind of really had its toll on me. So I've had issues with family, I've had issues with friends, I've gone through periods of severe depression and self-harm and attempted suicide. I've also gone through the flip side of where I've taken control of, of my life. It's the hardest thing to say I need help and it's even more difficult to actually go ahead and take that help. It was a big release for me, um, just a safe space where I could talk about how I was feeling and kind of not have to bottle everything up. And then I also think it's important to realise that they are there for your safety, they are there for your well-being. There's no reason to be stuck in one avenue, um, whereas before it was like kind of finish your A-levels, do your degree, and then the job that complements my degree. Um, I know that now, although that will be something I still pursue, it's not, I'm not kind of limited to just that. I can do so much more. There are so many services. There are so many charities. There are so many people who, through the decency of their own good heart, want to help. If you want some support, you've got some questions, or you just haven't been feeling yourself, you've got somewhere to go. Helpharrow.org. Just sign up on your phone or laptop and say what's on your mind. Help Harrow then directs you to the best organisations in Harrow best equipped to support you. You don't need a diagnosis. You don't need to tell anyone else. Just log in and let them do the rest. And Help Harrow does more than just mental health. So if you or your family need any other support, like food, care, benefits, anything, just say so. You're not on your own. Go to helpharrow.org.